Just something else to rebuild. <clears throat> Hey guys, it's Chris and it's Friday night. So a wonderful uh, follower of the channel named Dom Schmidt reached out to a fella after he saw my fiasco with AmigaStore.pu and uh, which is still not fixed by the way. They just went silent. Haven't heard Jack Diddley. Don't know what's going on. Did they ship me anything? Who knows? Haven't heard nothing. So. Like I said, last time I ordered from those guys. But Dom reached out and says, look, I got some extra ROMs. I can burn you a set of three twos. And he did. So I'm going to label these. These were made with aluminum tape with the L and H. I really hate taking apart the Amiga 3000, especially after I just cleaned this whole place up. So I, I kind of scooted everything over this way to get it off camera. But it's still decent. So I'm going to get this one apart again I'm gonna pull it over here and we're just gonna use it here I have the VGA cable kind of looped over the top there where all the mess is and I'll just use that for the 31 kilohertz amber port and we'll just see if we get a ROM screen I do have the SCSI to SD that we pre-prepared the first time and all of my junk is on the other SCSI to SD but it has a network card and I can always take this out, throw it in WinUAE and copy back and forth to get my stuff back faster than using the networking way. Which works, but sometimes I like it to be 2021 versus 1991. Let's get the 3000 over here and we'll start the disassembly process. Okay. So the 3000 is back over here. Anywho, here we go. I'm always careful pulling this lid off because I don't want to damage the lights. And, wait a second, something's wrong here. This is a weird day. I'm in pants again. I just haven't gotten undressed for work. I lost my daggone bottle opener. All right, we're off to close this channel down. Hold on. That'll do. Cheers, everybody. So we have high and low. Chip over top, click and pull. Yep. Sit her down, chip over top, pull. If you're swapping ROMs or any ICs around, pick yourself up one of these. Jonard, it's a EX2 is what it's called. And it's a chip puller. It's called the Dip IC Extraction Tool. Best thing I ever bought in a long time. Okay, so now where did I put them? The ROMs that Dom sent me. They're marked with aluminum tape, LH, so we know low is down low and high is up high. I like the casing, thank you so much. We're going to use the Chinesium chip straightener here. We just stick these in, give them a that makes sure all your pins are in alignment so you can just shove them in there, no worries. Now we gotta put it all back together. We're gonna use the excellent Omega 3000 Chris Mouse because its shape matches my body. Round. Round is the shape. No keyboard this time, I'm not worried about it. We do not have anything hooked up besides floppies. No GoTek, just two 357 alphas. Energize. Power. We're in high mode. Now it's going to look for the SCSI bus, which is going to freak it out. So it's going to take a couple seconds longer to boot. Make sure my amber switch is in the low position. Bam. Thank you, Dom, so much. You don't know what this means to me. Because I don't know where the hell my order is from AmigaStore.eu. And I did end up ordering some ROMs and bought the wrong ones. And I may have posted the video on that. Uh, if you're interested in some 30 freaking 4, 6, 36 pin instead of 40, I got a whole bunch of them. They're brand new. Nobody uses them. So, Mortimer, we're back. I don't want to blow up my 314 drive, so I'm going to just unplug it here and just kind of squish this one in its place. Hit it. 
Now you're probably going to hear some more arguments because the kid came back inside from walking Snoop Do Double G. Here you go. The old resolution's a little off. We're going to check the old screen mode here. If you have an AGA machine, you can get the double NZSC, double PAL resolutions, and they work really good. I have nothing on here, so it's really uh, just useless to me. I want to do an upgrade, but I really want to back it up first. So I'm probably going to take this card out, stick it in Win UAE, mount it as an RDB drive, and just get that copied out of there. Or just Win Imager or something, Win32 Disk Imager on Windows, and just back her on up. But Dom, thank you for helping a brother out, sending me those ROMs all the way up in Canada. We're going to hook this back up proper. I'm going to leave the original 3.1.4 hard drive in, and we're going to boot off of install, and then we're just going to do an upgrade. That'll remove all the crap out of the uh, load module command, stuff like that for the Intuition library, version 40, whatever. 7 so I could drag windows off screen the old way and I'll still get to keep all my stuff the Amex stuff and all that junk and if it blows up hell with it just something else to rebuild <coughs> putting all the screws in there because I guess I should turn it on and make sure it works first that would be the smart thing to do but I'm not smart so I see my freaking hard drive doesn't show up <laughs> rule number one kids never Put your damn son of a. Never put your case back on until you're sure you're just working. So it's not seeing my hard drives. Let's take this out, turn this off, turn this back on. It's got to see the SD lights up. I think it came unplugged on the damn board. You know what that means? I gotta take this SOB apart again. I'm just gonna cut this and we're gonna get this back in. Hold on one second. We're back in working order. Again, now we're going to put in this. And here we go. What happened? I don't know. It must have come unplugged. I did not have to take the entire thing apart. I just checked the SCSI to SD and took the cable out again, repositioned it, shoved her back in there nice and forceful. Just gave her the old Tanya. And she fired right up. Okay, so we're, we're working this, the 314 with the load library error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double mouse button. Lights are functional. Power, you'll see the hard drive light in just a second. We're going to choose boot options, DF2, and use boot. Uh, there's the hard drive. A flickering, and it will boot off of the GoTech. This will be install 3.2. I shouldn't need the modules disk because I have the physical ROM. If you don't have the ROM and you're rocking a 314 ROM, you will need the modules disk and that'll put the appropriate things for you on yours. That looks like a mess. Alright, let's do this. Let's ruin everything. Hey, what are you, a rapper? Straighten your damn head out. And it's still crooked. Wish I could get your arm to stretch up and kind of hold it. That'd be great. All right, with well, the normal, we're going to do, uh, yeah, install 3.2, intermediate. Yep, English like Jesus spoke. No printers because he didn't print. America, do you want to install glow icons? Uh-uh, I don't want to install glow icons because I don't like them. No. Oh, Okay. It doesn't like the answer of no. So I'm trying to do an upgrade. Look at that. See that crap? If we can't upgrade our stuff, a lot of people are going to be all pissed off here. Merka. Okay. Just. So how do you upgrade? How do you freaking upgrade? This is, um. Alright, so welcome back to like a week later. So I fired up the 3000 last I can remember and I got the load module ROM update. 32 ROMs, 314. So this is the error. Here's my startup sequence. I'm going to take out the load uh, module ROM update. I don't even need set patch, I don't think. So I'm going to comment that out too. And then we'll save that. Whoops. And then I'll reboot one more time. 
Good God, that took a while. I was doing something to the DF Zero. Scuzzy lights going nuts. Doing something. Jeez, that took a while. Okay, so now we have a 2021. Let's do an about. 3.2 ROM. Workbench 40.42. Still 314. I am going to just copy some libraries. Icon Workbench 3.1.4. I'm going to rename this. And I know they're protected, but I'm copying them over anyway. And then I'm going to just reboot. Now I do have the completed 3.2 SCSI to SD ready to go. But I just want to make sure this functions fine before I get into a full upgrade. Bingo. So that's a 3.2 ROM, 3.2 Workbench Icon Libraries, but not 3.2. It works enough to where I can use it. Now there's an issue with upgrading for me. That issue is, it won't upgrade. It says that the, in, the directory already exists. Just not had the best of luck with 3.2. Unable to create a folder, or unable to create a file or drawer object with the same name already exists. No duh! That's that. Could I figure out what line 5076 is in the install? Probably. Do I feel like it? No. Can, can we even upgrade? Can you upgrade? I've had the best luck with Amiga OS 3.2. Um, from the 1200's weird red screening, I ended up making my own ROMs for it, and then that's fine. And uh, this thing... I know the CD's just disconnected, that's why it does that. This thing is 3.2 ROMs now, but 3.1.4 because it won't install 3.2. I don't want to blow away all my crap. There's some issues that he worked out. I'll have to see what pops up. My desktop's a little bit of a mess now. I don't know what's happened. But uh, it's just on a different monitor. I'll sort it when I get on the other side. So this has been an Amiga 3000 attempt to upgrade 3.2. Yes, the fresh install off CD or uh, floppy is fully functional and works fine but the upgrade path let me know if you're having some weird issues with an upgrade if you haven't done already backed your stuff up I'm gonna give this a backup hence why I renamed those two icon and workbench libraries back it up and then I'll reconfigure the card again and uh, or not or I'll just format work or I'll move it all I mean I, there's many options I could just move everything to the larger partition just move it all over there do a fresh install and then move it back which probably would be faster for me than taking this apart again now even though it's right here I just don't feel like it I don't feel like it 3000 has been apart enough for a while because we have many other Amigas to do I gotta get that let me get kit flashcard thing figured out. That's really got me irked. And uh, it's been removed. And uh, that's where we're at. So this is going to be it for now for me. Like I said before, let me know if you're having some weird issues in the upgrade path. The full install I know works fine. ROMs, 314 ROMs with a modules disk, totally fine. You saw what I've been going through with this 3.2 stuff on upgrades. There are options, like I said, but we just want to be able to upgrade our units without going through, you know, the typical Amiga crazy way of reinventing the wheel. So that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.